Hey guys, welcome to another episode on how to use Ari, auto repair software. My name is Cameron, and here's what I have in store for you today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your auto repair company profile. First, make sure you are logged in the app. Then let's get to the profile section, and we start with the first section, my company details. In this section of the app, you can set up crucial details about your automotive repair company. Here, you can add a picture by using the camera or upload your logo from your computer. On the right side, you can add your signature and this will be printed on the invoice. You can redo your signature until you get the right one by clicking the refresh button. Once you are satisfied with the result, you can hit save. Here, you can fill in the company name, tech name, street, city, state, zip, phone, email, and other info about your business. After completing this section, save all your edits. All this info will show up on your invoice templates, so make sure you set up the right data here. Parts Markup this feature allows you to add a markup to the parts used in the repair services you offer. The parts markup feature in the RE Auto Repair app includes two additional options that can help you manage your pricing, fixed markup and pricing matrix. Here you can add a new record, fill in the type you want, and set the desired percentage. You can create a pricing matrix by setting up cost ranges from the amount desired to a specific one and markup values for each range. And you can also add multiple records or delete them. Now let's get into the labor markup. Here you can edit and set up four different types of automotive repair labor rates, which you can later select when building your work orders. The default labor rates are primary, diagnostic, fleet, and miscellaneous. On the right side, you can fill in the desired amount. You can also use the arrows to increase or decrease the amount. After finishing this step, click Save. Tax Setup. These are the default types. Goods and Services Tax, Harmonized Sales Tax, and Federal Tax. You can edit these names and values at any time or activate, deactivate according to your business requirements. And here, you can also choose whether you want your parts and labor items to be taxable by default or not. After completing all the details, you hit save. Payment and disclosure. In this section of RE Profile Setup, you can add info such as bank account details, and other payment info that your users may require in order to send you money for your auto repair services. Here, you can fill in your bank account details, and here, you can check whether you want the details on the invoice or not. Employees. In this section, you can add all your auto repair business employees and their respective roles. To add a new employee, click on the Add button. Then in this page, you can fill in all the employee details. You can also add a picture using your camera, or you can upload a picture from your computer. Down on the page, you can check or uncheck if this employee is active or inactive. To delete an employee, click on the delete icon. Vendors and suppliers. In this section, you can keep track of all vendors or suppliers that you are working with. Click on the plus button to add a new supplier or vendor. You can set a picture using your camera or upload it from your computer. And down on the page, you can fill in all the vendor's details. After saving this vendor, it will appear in your list. Then you can also delete them by clicking on the delete icon. Quick notes. This section will help you save time when you want to log a note about a particular vehicle or job card, or maybe you want to simply remind yourself to purchase a particular part. To add a note, 
Click on the Add icon, then fill in all the details. You will also be able to assign each note a category. Later, when you have multiple notes already saved, you can choose to edit these by clicking the Edit button here, or delete them. Discount Coupons Here you can create discount coupons that you can later give to your clients. Click on the plus button to add a new coupon. Enter the coupon code. Then here, you can select if it is a percentage based upon or a flat amount. Set your desired value or percentage. Then you can also set the expiration date and the number of coupons and activate or deactivate these. After saving all the details, from here you can generate a PDF file of this coupon that you can later send or print. You also have the option of directly sending an SMS or printing this coupon. Using this setting icon, you can edit the details of your coupon. So for example, you can type in here Christmas coupon or whatever name you want to be displayed on the coupon. And you can also choose to show the logo instead of headers by checking or unchecking this field. Labels. Using this section, you can make your items pop out with custom labels. Here you have the default labels, and you can also create new custom labels by clicking the Add button. Enter the name of your label, and then assign a category from the drop-down list. User Roles. This section will help you to create detailed access roles for all your staff. Create a new role by clicking the plus icon. You can create a custom role, or you can select one from the list. So if I select the accountant, first I can fill in the role description, and then I can give this role a specific access type to view, edit, create, or delete in different categories by checking or unchecking these icons. Whenever I want, I can come back to edit and give more, or restrict access to a role, or completely delete that role. User. When you add your first user, the system will ask you to create an owner role and user. This will be your personal username moving forward. Make sure you never delete this user or you will lose access to your profile. Click OK and set up your owner with full access. Fill in the owner's details and then click here to check that you have full access. After this, you can click Save. Now you can create new users. To add a new user, go back to the user roles section. And here you can add the desired roles with a specific type of access. For example, you can select the accountant, fill in their role description, and choose the access you want to give to this specific role. And then click save. Now this user role will be saved among the others created. Go back to the Users page and click on the plus button to add a new user. Fill in the details of this user. Each user will log into ARI with your main password and their own unique passcodes that you'll set up when adding the user. Assign a role to this user from the drop-down list and you will be able to select the roles that you just created with unique access for each individual role. Click on Accountant for example. If you click on Show Roles Access, you can see what this user can access. If you want to make changes and give or restrict access, you will need to go back to the User Roles page to make these changes. But if you're okay with the access assigned to this user, you can click Save to set up this new user. Now go back to the RE settings and log out. Log in again using your main username and password. And now you can select the user you wish to log in as. If you want to log in as the owner, you will need to use the main username and password and you will have full access. If you want to log in as another user, you will need to click on the desired user and here you will need to fill in the password assigned to that role. As you can see, this user will only have access to the sections assigned for that role. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. And remember, you can access all RE features by going pro. You can do this in RE settings. See you on the next one.